Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. We're here at the palatial residence, I think it's fair to say, spotlessly clean <laughs> flat of Martin J. Ward. Martin, we were speaking to Tony Sims, your trainer earlier, yeah. and talking about how new your flat was. He said he's always advised you to invest your money carefully from your boxing career, yeah. that's why you have. Yeah, definitely. Tony's always guided me along the right lines since I've, since I've been with him. I've been with Tony a long time. I'm 26, I'm coming 27 now, and uh, I've been with Tony since I'm like 15, 15 years of age. So. You know, he's, he's took me on, on board since a kid. And you've invested your money wisely by the looks of things. <laughs> yeah, 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 I've done a few. I've made a few right moves with him and uh, yeah, it's, it's all good. Well, it's good to see. Obviously not so good news, your last fight, mm -hmm. I'm, sure, I'm sure you agree. Yeah, of course. Back in May, uh, five round defeat to James Tennyson. Mm -hmm. Bit of an upset, it's fair to say, especially as it came so soon after what many people thought was your career best performance yeah. against Judy Giner, Giner, however you mm -hmm. pronounce it. What's the reason for the difference between those two performances in your view? Uh, do you know what? It just wasn't my night. As simple as that. There, I'm gonna take it. Take the loss, like a like a man. I'm take it on the chin, and I'll be back better, better and stronger than ever. Uh, I'm. I'd love the rematch, but I can't see it really happening, to be honest. Uh, but it's just it's just one of them things. It wasn't my night. Um, You're a gentleman to say that. <laughs> We've spoken with Tony earlier. He hinted that it might have been some sort of issue with weight, in that you've been making the same weight for such a long time now. Yeah. It's all ifs and buts and maybes and cutters and shoulders and it's just one of them things. It's boxing. Uh, it's, it's always a struggle for me to get. Not it is it's tight for me to do the weight nine stone four. Uh, when I started my career, I started at lightweight, and then Tony Tony see me walking around at lightweight too, um, a couple of pounds over my weight and stuff, and he was like, Do you know what? You could you could move down, but obviously as the year goes, the years go on and my career furthers on, and I'm getting in championships fights. So I got to make nine stone four and when time goes on and I'm mature and it's obviously going to be harder and harder but it's just, it's just one of the things it's boxing you obviously had him down in the second round mm. before he came back to, yeah. to force a stoppage in the fifth mm -hmm. at that point when you had him down do you think you had him do you think that was it yeah I thought 10 more seconds and the fight would have been if I had 10 more seconds the bell went straight away but if the fight would have gone maybe 5 or 10 more seconds it could be a different story here. it could be in a different I would obviously be in a different position but um, yeah it's boxing what kind of lessons do you take from what happened to you? Uh, on fight night, is stick, stick to my game plan. It's definitely stick to my game plan. I just thought when I had him hurt, and I was catching him so freely and easily in them first two rounds, he was walking onto everything. He, I knew he was going to come to me anyways, but um, I, was find, I was finding that, I wouldn't say I was finding the fight easy, but I was catching him very, very, I was, sh I was, too sh I was sharper than him. For them first couple of rounds, I was a lot sharper than him, and I had a lot more snap there, and I just thought, then I, I just thought I could, I could, I could steam, steam, steamroll him, and uh, went started fighting a bit in the third round and fourth round. You can see it, you see it if you watch back the fight. But yeah, just come off my game plan basically. I should have boxed him for a few more rounds and just kept stuck to it. But was so. part of that because you destroyed your previous opponent in such impressive fashion? You you kind of felt that strength and that power and that excitement and thought, right, I'm going to do it again. No, I, I hurt him from a body shot. I was, I was I hurt him a couple times before that, and the referee warned as a low blow, but there was no low blows getting put in there. I a couple of times to the body, um, but uh, yeah, I just thought I can get I can get this guy out here early doors, and and went in and, and fought a bit too much, played into his, his hands. But I'll live and learn. You talked about the rematch. He's now really highly ranked with the <coughs> WBA. Yeah. So if a rematch were to come to fruition, it could be even be a final eliminator for a world yeah, title, maybe, something yeah. like that. Is, is that the fight you want the most at the moment? The rematch? Oh, I love the rematch. Yeah, that is that would be my my next my next fight. I get straight back in there um, and fight him in my next fight. Um, I said, uh, me team, I don't need no comeback fights, no nothing. It ain't dented my confidence one bit. It's just I just drifted from the game plan, simple as that. There and just and got caught, um, got caught some some bigger shots. When I should I shouldn't have been taking them sort of shots. I should have been too clever and too smart on the night. But yeah, I got a little bit carried away. Were you one of these fighters in your yeah. early days where you always thought I have to be unbeaten throughout my career? That's like a key thing. Or do you realise that you know even the best fighters have had defeats in the past? Every, listen, every fight is nobody wants to lose. Nobody in the game. It's all about winning. But it's, it's happened now, and I'm gonna I'll deal with it, and, and that's the way it is. Yeah. Do you feel you've got the height and the frame to go up to lightweight if the situation demands? Because yeah. obviously that's where you started out. Yeah, I could, I could, I could go up to lightweight if I want. Personally, myself, I want to, I want to stay at super featherweight. But Tony's, Tony's um and on, and maybe he wants me to move up on that. But listen, a big fights. I just want big fights, being big, exciting fights, and and that's that's what drives me in the sport. 
What are those big fights, aside from the tennis and rematch, which we know is the one you want the most, what are the other big names out there that you'd like to fight? Any, anybody on the, on the fringe world or anywhere in the, I want to I wanna step up and, and fight some of the big boys uh, in, in whatever way. I just want to be in good, exciting fights. I don't want to be in boring fights where nobody really talks about. Come off a loss, my last fight was off a loss, but you know, everybody's ranting and raving about how, how much of an exciting fight it was and there's obviously positive, there's a lot of negatives. I've lost, I've lost the fight, I'm not, I'm not stupid kidding that, but there's positives out of it as well. What about someone like Stephen Smith? Would that be definitely, an interesting yeah. fight back for you, easy to make? It, it could be easily made, yeah, definitely. It's just, I'm open to, to, to all fights, but Stephen is definitely, he's a good name. Got a lot of respect for Stephen and his family and that. He's a, he's a, he's a great fighter. Um, he could possibly be, yeah, definitely be an interesting fight, wouldn't it?